a round of applause because Taste to Pneal is back. The first episode of 2016 is here and it's the Royal Rumble. So this week I was chatting with a friend that's going to be in town in Orlando where I live and I decided to make some of their favorite foods into one dish. And I'm going to take it to the Royal Rumble and surprise them. Let's do it. Taste of Tennille is back and it feels good. Okay, so today I'm going to make a cake from scratch. It's a yellow cake with a buttercream chocolate frosting. It's going to be delicious and it's a special request, a favorite food of a special friend of mine. And a little uh, twist on the end. They wanted some bacon incorporated somehow. What kind of favorite food mixture is that? Yellow cake with chocolate frosting and bacon. But I'm gonna find a way to make it work and make it delicious from scratch. And take note, this is not gonna be a healthy recipe, but it's for a friend and it's a special request, so I'm gonna make it. You can see if you can guess along the way who it's for, but if you don't, no big deal, because at the end you'll see who it is anyway. I'm starting off with one and one quarter cups of plain flour and I added one and one quarter cups of cake flour. I already sift them all together so it's nice and fine so we don't have lumps in our cake batter. And then here I have half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of baking soda and one teaspoon of baking powder. That goes in here. And one thing you'll notice is when you're making a cake from scratch, you usually do the dry and the wet ingredients separately. That's just to create any clumps and get a nice smooth mixture, make it airy and fluffy so it doesn't sink and get all dense. Lots of key points when making a cake from scratch. Let's see if I can do it. So I'm just going to uh, get my whisk, quickly whisk all that together so it's nice and combined. And while you're doing all this, make sure you set your ovens, 350, to preheat and get your cake pans ready. So typically with this kind of cake, I want to have like layers with some frosting in between. So you can use two round flat kind of thin trays and cook two cakes and then you layer them. Or what I'm going to do is... <laughs> Because of this special someone I'm making the cake for, I had a themed tray uh, that I found at the store. I'm not going to show you yet because again, it's going to give it away. So you can uh, try peek or work it out as I go. Like I said, at the end, it'll be a nice surprise when I go and gift this cake at the Royal Rumble. Okay, next, wet ingredients. Boop. Ignore that. Wow, it's no wonder that cakes taste so bloody good. It's because of all this goodness that goes into it. Okay, next part, we're going to mix some of the wet ingredients together separate from the dry. So I need an electric beater. I need a spatula. I've got one plus two thirds of a cup of granulated white sugar. And I'm going to mix in six ounces of unsalted butter. Oh, sugar and butter and so much of it. So this is why we can't bake like this all the time. <laughs> But like I said, it's a treat for a special person. So my butter is at room temperature, which will help it to all combine because otherwise it's gonna be these hard chunks of butter that will make things difficult. So I'm gonna put all this in together. I'm gonna to blend it until it is light and fluffy. And I use this to scrape the edges to make sure everything's incorporated. Ready, go. Oh. Okay, careful. Wow. I guess it's safe to say I've got the making a mess part down. I really need like, this show would be so much better if I had a kitchen aid and uh, someone to clean after for me so I don't have to do any of it myself. I can just do the fun part, the cooking. Who wants to clean anyway? Look at those uh, problem solving skills. Making a mess everywhere. What do you do? Upgrade to a bigger bowl. Let's continue. Much better. 
Jeez, you think it's my first time baking or something? Okay. Adding in my vegetable oil. Adding in my eggs, one by one. One. Need my big kitchen egg bad boys. She's in my belly right now. Hold on. That's looking pretty awesome. Let me smell it. <laughs> Basically, it smells like butter and sugar, which is pretty good. I'm not gonna say it's not. Okay, next we add vanilla essence. I'm just gonna do this by eye, about a, tea a teaspoon or two. I'll just put the whole thing in. <laughs> really, don't do that. Here's where we start to mix the wet and the dry. When to become one. So, here's where we mix the wet and the dry. We're going to do about a third of our dry mixture and blend that in. With that, about half of our buttermilk, we have eight ounces all together, so about four ounces in now until that's all combined. And then we repeat. Another third of our dry mixture. Another four ounces of our buttermilk, the last of it. Continue to mix. Taste it. Thanks, it's my show. Whoa. <laughs> we don't need this anymore, so I'm just gonna just gonna put just gonna put these over here and I won't lick them, I promise. Oh, see, now look what you made me do. Making more of a mess than I already have. Okay, that's all done. I'm gonna get that into my pan, which you can't see yet, and I'm gonna bake it for around 30 minutes. Oh my gosh. Looks delicious. It's so creamy and smooth. I don't know if you can see this, the shape of my pan. If you can, you might start to guess who my guest is. Or you might have no idea, which I'm okay with as well. But mix goes in pan. Even it out a little bit. And Let's bake it. While I'm waiting for my cake to finish, I'm gonna make my buttercream frosting. And the thing is, when the cake comes out, it has to cool anyway. You can't put frosting on a hot cake or it's just gonna melt off. So, let's get this ready, let that get out and cool, and then we're gonna combine them all. Now, to start, I'm gonna have 12 ounces of butter. I'm gonna beat it on high till it's light and fluffy. Add cocoa in to give it a nice chocolate flavor, and I'm gonna Sift that in so we have no lumps and a nice smooth texture. Now, we add our powdered sugar. Then, four tablespoons of half and half. And, one and a half teaspoons of vanilla. And then, we mix all that together and BAM looks pretty good let's taste it you always got to taste always got to taste just to check 
Mm. It's like a work of art. I've got my buttercream ready. I almost don't want to frost it because it looks so good. This might be a little hint. Not quite finished, but uh, you might get the idea. Oh, just kidding. If you caught it, you did. If you didn't, too bad. I'm gonna make this up, finish it off, and head to the Royal Rumble. Here I am backstage at the Royal Rumble, and it's finally time for you to see who I made a cake for. Ah! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Yeah, here you are. Mm. Mm, yeah, so what do we got? Favorite food, go! Mm. Yellow cake with chocolate icing and bacon. Ready? Yeah. <gasps> oh my god! What is this? Yellow cake, <laughs> chocolate frosting, and candied bacon. I like how the bacon's up with the horn, so it's, it's a unicorn. It's, 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 it's this beautiful mane. This is gorgeous. How did you do this? I, I made it from scratch. From scratch? I knew they were your two favorite foods, so I managed to find a way to combine them and Special, haven't seen you in a while. Thank you. It's a Royal Rumble. Thank you. It's good luck. Am I allowed to It's a new cake for you. Eat a little piece of it? Let's dig in. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the most mm. awkward eating of a cake mm. I have ever Well, oh. it sounds like you're enjoying it, so that's mm -hmm. good. Mmm. Mm. That's a success, guys. Oh yeah. Yes. He liked it. This is good. Can you make this for me every day? Well, I made it brand new today, so make it brand new tomorrow. So wait. It's a new cake for you. You make brand new cake? Yeah, it's a new cake. Made it from scratch. From scratch? So, so it's brand new cake, so it's brand new cake? Yeah, brand new cake. Brand new cake? Thanks for coming on my show. Of course. And uh, for Come everyone on at show. home, <laughs> <laughs> you can uh, check out all my other videos at uh, youtube.com forward slash taste of Tennille. Follow mm. me on Instagram at Emma Lucia and on Twitter at Emma WWE. And. Oh, me? Yeah, you're done. Follow your boy. I'll be Austin Creed today. At Xavier Woods PhD. Uh, make sure you go check out Up Up Down Down, sweet yeah. gaming channel. She's going to be on there. Mmm, lots of sweet gaming stuff on there. Yeah, mmm. You can follow that channel at Up Up Down Down without the O's on Instagram and Twitter. Dumb. My catchphrase is keep it tight on my show. Keep it tight. I don't know. Do you have a catchphrase? Keep it tight. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Keep it tight. <laughs>